Hi everybody and welcome to Vanessa My Life My Journey. I am here today to talk about five signs uh, to potentially let you know whether or not you have an iodine deficiency. Iodine is an important mineral that your body needs to pr promote healthy cell health, to promote a healthy metabolism, and to actually restore and regenerate uh, your cells. And your thyroid uses iodine to do all of that. And if you have an iodine deficiency, you can have some of these uh, five indicators to show you that you have an iodine deficiency. So I'm going to go step by step, one by one, to let you know some of the things that could be problems to or signs to let you know that you do have an iodine deficiency. So one of the signs that you have a iodine deficiency, which is also considered to be hypothyroidism, and it could also be called underactive thyroid. Uh, one sign is a swollen gland, which is considered to be a garter, which is what I have. I have a swollen uh, thyroid, which is a swollen gland, which is considered to be a garter. And uh, one reason for having a swollen gland or a swollen thyroid is because you have an iodine deficiency. Uh, your garter actually produces a, a hormone, a thyroid hormone, and because you have a deficiency of iodine, your uh, thyroid cannot produce that needed uh, thyroid that you need and uh, or that needed hormone that you need so it actually swells up to try to overcompensate to produce it the uh the hormone that you need and the gland actually gets bigger and enlarged because it's overworking to try to produce that hormone that you need because you have an iodine deficiency so that is one reason why you can have a swollen uh thyroid, a swollen gland, which if your uh, deficiency continues, then you may have an enlarged gland like mine, which over time you can end up damaging your thyroid because it's overcompensating and overworking to try to produce uh, the hormone that it needs. But because you have an iodine deficiency, it's never able to keep up. So that is one sign that you have an iodine deficiency, hypothyroidism, uh, or an underactive gland. The second sign that you may have an iodine deficiency is weight gain. And that's because your uh, thyroid actually produces the hormone that will help you, your, metas your metabolism process your food and convert it into energy. But because you have an iodine deficiency, your body and your thyroid is not producing that, uh, it's not producing that hormone that helps transfer for your food into energy and therefore your body begins to store those unburned calories and store them as fat which will also result to weight gain. So your thyroid is a very important part of your body that will help the rest of your cells to convert your food into energy. And so your thyroid is very important, you guys. And when your thyroid is not healthy, and it doesn't have the proper iodine that it needs in order to do its job properly and for it to function properly, then it affects you in so many shape, forms, and fashion. And one of those can be you uh, gaining weight. Number three, you guys. So another sign that you might have an iodine deficiency is feeling fatigued, tired, and feeling weak. 
a study showed that like 80% of people who have an iron deficiency experiences tiredness, fatigue, and weaknesses. And that's because the uh, thyroid is not producing the hormone that your body needs to give you the energy that you need. And uh, it might be, you might be able to get the, uh, get your energy levels back up just by adding more iodine to your diet, you guys. So a iodine deficiency can be impacting your life in so many, so many ways from you being tired, from you being fatigued, from you gaining weight, and from you having an enlarged garter like I do. So number four, another sign that you could have uh, an iodine deficiency is hair loss. There have been studies that have shown that 30% of people that had an iodine deficiency lost hair and their follicles stopped reproducing the hair because of the deficiency of iodine. So you could also have hair loss. And one thing that I noticed that I did experience, number one, if you guys know, I do and have experienced hair loss. Uh, also, my hair was very, very, very dry. No matter what I did uh, to moisturize my hair, my hair would always, always stay dry. And even the texture of my hair changed. And like I said, you know, my hair had began to fall out. So uh, again, having an iodine deficiency, a lot of people don't even know that they have an iodine deficiency, but they could be having all of these symptoms and they're trying to figure out what's wrong with them, but they actually have an iodine deficiency and they don't even know it. Like between 70 to 80% of the population has an iodine deficiency and they don't even know it and there's no pyramid you know there's nothing on the food chart that says oh you need to be taking iodine as a part of your regular diet every single day to let people know that iodine is an essential part of their diet so another sign leading to uh, iodine deficiency like I said with the dry hair also, you can experience dry skin because uh, your thyroid is not producing uh, proper thyroid hormones and that means that your glands are also uh, dry, which will lead to dry skin. And so you're going to may experience dry and flaky skin, uh, which I do know some people that have hypothyroidism and underactive glands do experience dry skin. Uh, like I said, for me, I was experiencing uh, my dry hair. Uh, fortunately, most of this can be reversed by just increasing your intake of iodine. A lot of people uh, change their eating habits and start doing things that would include more iodine to their diet. Uh, some people start using the iodized salt salt to their diet. Uh, for me, I am adding more of the seaweed to my diet, which, which is something that uh, has iodine in it. And also seafood has iodine in it. Eggs, milk uh, also contain iodine. So just do your research, you guys. And if you think that you have an iodine deficiency, which would be considered hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid. See if you can remedy some of these issues just by adding more iodine to your doctor or to your diet. And also, I was going to say, uh, make sure you consult a doctor and let them know that you think you may have an iodine deficiency. When you uh, want to get blood tests done, just to let you know that an iodine deficiency is not something that is standardized on the blood work test. So you usually have to ask your doctor to do an a, a iodine deficiency test to see if you are iodine deficiency. 
but also this is something that you could remedy yourself by just trying to add more iodine to your diet and see if these things will help you and you can also do an iodine uh, patch test at home again I am not a phy physician I am just sharing some things that I am learning on my own by doing research myself I hope this video was helpful you guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave lots of comments down below. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on a notification bell. Hit always when you turn on that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I do a video. And if you've had any experience with uh, an iodine deficiency, hypothyroidism, or underactive thyroid, please leave those comments in the uh, comment bar below. And chat it up with some of the people in the comment and you might be able to share your experiences with with other people and help them uh, to come to some kind of remedy or conclusion about an iodine deficiency again thank you so much for watching you guys and I appreciate you guys so much and thank you for going on this journey with me to try to find out whether or not I can remedy my thyroid gorder and hypothyroid um issues i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye now mm -hmm.